Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Bell Performance Video Blog. Um, today, we're going to talk about diesel fuel and about one of its most important properties, the cetane value of the diesel fuel. Now, last month in January, we did a very popular blog uh, educational piece on octane rating and what octane does in an engine, in a gasoline engine. Uh, and uh, what it means if you use a uh, octa high octane fuel that's higher than what's recommended for your engine. Well, uh, today we're going to ask some of the same questions about cetane. So, um, remember that octane is essentially a retardant uh, or depressor of combustion. More specifically, uh, in a gasoline engine, when you have the piston going up and down. Um, and the fuel is being metered into the cylinder and then you have the spark is, is igniting the fuel and if, if it happens the way the engine is designed then the fuel is going to combust and ignite at precisely the right time but if you have a, a gasoline fuel that is too quick to ignite then it, it, the ignition happens too early uh, relative to where the piston is and that's when you get this knocking and this pinging and uh, this generally poor performance. So a high oct higher octane fuel resists the tendency to ignite too early. So it's somewhat of a combustion uh, depressant, so to speak. Well, cetane works as act, uh, in the opposite fashion. It is uh, actually a combustion accelerant. And what we mean by that is uh, when you have a diesel engine, diesel engines, of course, work by compression ignition. They don't have a spark to light the diesel fuel. What they rely on is when the fuel, the diesel fuel is metered into the combustion chamber, the cylinder comes up and it changes, it squeezes the amount of space, the amount of air that's available in the combustion chamber. And when you have gas, a gaseous uh, fuel air mixture in there, that gets compressed. And according to physics and the ideal gas law, when you compress a gas, its temperature increases. If it increases above the ignition temperature of the diesel fuel, boom, that's when you get at this uh, combustion of the diesel fuel. Well, what you want ideally is you want a diesel fuel that 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 reaches uh, its auto ignition temperature very easily and ignites quickly. That's what you want. You want kind of the opposite that you want with gasoline. Gasoline, you want some. You don't want something that ignites too quickly. Diesel fuel, you do want something that ignites fast enough so that it will ignite at the right time relative to that cylinder, given that you don't have a spark helping it along. So, a higher cetane fuel um, it will combust more easily in that respect. Uh, it will very much make it easier to start in cold weather. Diesel engines. Uh, again, they don't have a spark helping them uh, ignite the fuel at the proper time. They rely on actual latent heat that's built up in the combustion, you know, in the block, in the engine itself, in the metal surfaces. Um, and you know, when you're when you're running down the highway, there's lots and lots of heat there that uh, you know will help this pro process along. But if you're trying to start a diesel engine in freezing temperatures, well you got to warm that engine up and so that engine is going to turn over and over and over and over again until the heat from that constant compression and then compression and then compression the heat's going to build up slowly over time and then at some point um, it will be hot enough for the fuel to reach its auto ignition temperature and then boom it starts up uh, and you've got the diesel engine rolling again well a high higher cetane value fuel uh, will make it easier for it to reach this temperature. So, uh, the, the, the thing you need to remember about cetane fuel with respect to its recommendations in your engine is you need, just like octane, you need to go with what is recommended by your uh, 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 owner's manual of the diesel engine. Now, the common diesel um, uh, cetane ratings of diesel fuel, uh, regular diesel, you get might get, let's say, a 48. A uh, premium diesel is typically, let's say, around a 55 cetane value. Uh, biodiesel, pure biodiesel, B100, is also 55. It's got very good, very high cetane rating. Uh, if you take 20% of that and you mix it into diesel and you make a B20 biodiesel blend, well, that'll be about a 50 or so. So what do you do if you think you have diesel fuel that is not high enough cetane value? Um, well, there are things you can add to it. There are dedicated cetane improvers. Uh, Bell Performance has one called Supertane. 
um, and it will raise your diesel cetane value by uh, about three to four points, depending on what your treat, treat value is. Um, there are some diesel uh, cetane improvers out on the marketplace that may claim up to an eight to ten uh, point rise. Now, uh, <clears throat> when you start getting up to eight points, you get really, really hard for a, a an additive that's added at let's say a one to five hundred or a one to thousand ratio. It's you know nigh on impossible for them to raise cetane that high. So three to four points, unless you're going really, really low on the seat, on the, uh, the the tree rate, um, that's typically going to be what you're going to be able to get with a, 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 a fuel additive that specifically raises cetane value. Thank you for joining us today for this edition of the Bell Performance video blog. We've been talking about cetane rating today. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.